Welcome to my channel, Let's Talk. Let's do talk. Let's talk about Jason Lee versus Tasha K. Now, in this world of, um, let's see, what are we gonna call this? In this world of social media, uh, entertainment, we understand, we overstand, in fact, that people are going to have conflicts. People are going to interact um, in some ways that's all, not always agreeable. People are going to bust on each other. There's going to be some busting involved, right? Or dirty dozens involved. But let's be clear. As people with some sense of morality, some sense, we understand normally to keep children out of the scenario, out of the situation. Generally speaking, we know people bust on your mom, bust on your, your sisters, your brothers, or whoever, right? But normally, we do not bring children, demean them using um, derogatory terms towards children who have not done anything, anything to you, who have not offended you. They're normally amongst decent moral people, minded people, off limits. Okay, so in this interaction between Jason Lee and Tasha Kay, this is my concern. My concern is the statements directed to the children. I don't agree with it. I feel that that is very, very um, low. Uh, I think it's inhumane and definitely immoral. If Jason Lee had an issue with Tasha because she said he was nodding and it was shown throughout the internet him nodding, I, I, I don't know what he was nodding off of. People have made speculations and allegations, but the point is is that the pictures there showing him nodding so that is not an allegation what he was nodding off of that we don't know okay nonetheless even if tasha k put a picture of him and make fun of him that has nothing to do with her children if there's anything to say that would be directed towards Tasha K. But if we play in the dirty dozens, that's what we're doing as adults, then um, he has no right to attack her children, period. I personally don't believe in attacking people's mother, okay, in addition to children. But I know when people play the dirty dozens, that's one of the first things that they do. So let's keep it, keep it, keep it honest, keep it straight. Okay, to the point. The other thing is, I, because of that, because he went and made derogatory statements, profane statements towards Tasha K towards her mother, towards her child, I, I, I really have a problem with gender hatred. It's not okay for anyone to think they should be protected, but no one else can be protected. I don't agree with gender hatred. I don't agree with remarks because someone is darker than you, you can call them a roach. If you study anything about roaches, you can find them 
in a variation of color schemes, okay? However, that's a very derogatory way to address the person. Now we have one versus the other. There were also some allegations made in regards to someone having the package. The package it is, if you know rolling back in time, the package is something that is harmful to the human body. So for someone to think it's okay, if the allegations are correct and interact on an intimate level, with other people knowing they themselves are a detriment, that is highly problematic. <laughs> to threaten a person doesn't change the fact if you were caught doing something, you still were caught doing something. If you're nodding, you see you're nodding. <laughs> but to have gender hatred, to attack innocent children to um, make statements that are harmful and uh, colorist should not be accepted, okay? It should not be accepted. If we call out other people on these things, then we have to keep it consistent it should not be done. Let me know what your point of view and comments are below, family. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace and love.